For those of you that have been following my QAV250 with Pix Falcon build, you'll know that I've been working hard to get to a point where I could do some autonomous flights with this. If you watched the previous video, I shared some tips that Leonard Hall shared with me for tuning the QAV250. It loiters really well. So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate this telemetry setup. This is the radio that you'll have on the frame in a board format. And then on the ground, you'll have your standard radio. Now, both of these come as part of the Pix Falcon kit, which is great. And to set this up, it's dead simple. There is a port in the middle on the front of your Pix Falcon. It's labeled telemetry and you just plug your cable into that. And then on the other end, you plug it into your telemetry board. That's all you need to do on the frame side of things. Now, before I hook up telemetry to my Android tablet, you'll see that I'm running tower. I'm actually running it off my network and connected to drone kit. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. We'll do a takeoff. And that takeoff will put us at about 65 feet. You can see we're in guided mode. And the way this works is you just press and hold. And that will set a waypoint that the aircraft will fly to. So it'll fly that towards that, but I can always reposition that. So it's sort of a real-time waypoint tool. 90%. We'll hook up the actual radio and then we'll go outside and do a demonstration. So first I'll just go ahead and disconnect. One thing to always remember in this case for connectivity, I'm using UDP, but since we're going to hook our radio up, we're going to be using the USB connection. So that's now set to USB. I'll go out. I'll connect one end of the, as they call it, on the go cable to the radio. Then we'll connect the other end to the tablet. You can see that it asks to open 3DR services. I'll hit OK. We have power. Now as a quick check, I'll go ahead and click connect. Battery at 1%. That's definitely not accurate, but um, I just charged the battery, so we'll ignore that for now. And you can see it'll take us to the home location of the aircraft, which is actually here in my garage. And let's go out and give this a test. I have my transmitter just in case I need to toggle out of any mode and, and take control. And then here I have tower. Now, I, it's, the screen is so reflective it's hard to see, but I'm going to go ahead and arm. Armed. Waypoints received. Okay, and then let's go ahead and just do a takeoff. Now remember, that should take us up to 65 feet. It's going nice and steady. We're at about 65 feet with a nice loiter. Okay, so what I'll do is, you can see we're right here. I'm just gonna send us a little bit along this fence line over here just so I can get it in the frame. So I'm gonna click there and then we can watch it go. So it's now out along that fence line a little bit in front of the house. Now I'll bring it back to the H, which is where we are. So I'll just click right on it. Vehicle home updated. And then you can see it's turning around now, coming back to us. It's just gonna sit there and hover. So this is performing really well in guided mode. Now one last, I'll send it right here over the garage and we'll get it going. All right, so right there, it's hovering over the garage and let me just bring it back to the home point. It's right above us. Now, I actually have the ability to toggle into many different modes here. If I wanted, I could tell it to land, but I'm not going to do that. The grass is a bit tall and I don't want to mess with that. So I'm just going to toggle back into loiter. So we sit from loiter. I'll take it on my transmitter and actually run it into stabilize.
and I'll just go ahead and land it right over here. So that was, a, for me, a pretty exciting a demonstration of guided mode with the Pix Falcon and the QAV 250. It took me a long time to get to this point, but I wanted to share it with you guys. Definitely plan on doing some more autonomous work with this setup, and we'll be sharing that in the near future. The key here is obviously having a good tune, and be sure to watch that tuning video uh, with the tips from Leonard Hall. If you guys have any questions or comments, please post them below. And until next time, thanks for watching.